What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back and give him another video. This time, this was requested by uh, one of my subscribers that asked me to do a, 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 a top 10 or my top sense for suiting up, all right? Um, but I'm gonna call this suiting up slash being the boss, office, boardroom type of thing, whatever you wanna call it. So it's like all the above. When you wanna suit up, going out to a formal event, these are just some of the 15 that's in my my reach. <laughs> I'm gonna say that, all right, because they could have been a lot more than this um, that I didn't include. Some of the niche um, that I didn't include. Um, some of the names I might chop up. I want to apologize now. But before we get any, go any further, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell everybody about the video. Tell everybody that you know about the video. All right, we're sheltered in right now. I know a lot of people need some content to watch. Tell them about your boy Sam Broom fragrances. All right, here on YouTube. All right, now let's jump into it because it's 15. All right, now some of you out there might not agree with my list, but this is my list. All right, and I gave them numbers, but they can they can go either way. All right, they're all in numbers. All right, but again, they can go either way. All right, I'm gonna start off with a with a reasonably priced fragrance that I think is such a boss scent. All right, and it goes a little bit back in the days. These next two actually. But I'm gonna start it off with a Zorro Pour Ohm. Now this is the EDP. Yeah, this is the EDP and this is the intense version, all right? I'm gonna give you just the, the solid notes um, of what I get out of these fragrances. It's not gonna be an in-depth review on them. But damn, this right here, to me, is definitely something that you wanna wear when you're on a formal event. Couple sprays. And you out there because most of those events like that you're not going to be there all night you're not going to spend seven eight hours in it you either in the meeting or you're going to a wedding or some type of formal event it's not going to last long but i'm just going to give you a little bit of rent rundown on what some of these notes are and i wrote them down all right um some of the prominent notes that you can get out of this you got some cinnamon you got some brandy you got amber tonka bean and you got vanilla and i definitely smell every single one of those notes at some point wearing this fragrance but this is again azaro Pour Ohm Intense EDP. That's at number 15. I gotta try to find a place to put all these. Number 15. Next up, at my number 14, and this is an oldie but goodie, kinda hard to find, but um, this is by Van Cleef and Arpels. I actually did a video on this. I'm gonna give you the, note, the rundown on these notes. At the top, you get pink rose, or in the notes, you get, you get a prominent pink rose, you get some leather, oak moss, lavender, and cardamom. I'm talking about Van Cleef and Arpels, pour on. When I tell you, beast mode, but so elegant. Now, you're going to spray this on before you leave the house, all right? After you put your clothes on, you're going to spray yourself, bam, bam, and then you're out the door. By the time you get to that, oh my God, that roll smells so good. By the time you get to that event that you're going to or that boardroom, it's gonna settle in so nice. This is definitely, definitely a formal event type of scent. All right, Van Cleef Narpel. That was number fourteen. I'm reach. I'm down here because I'm trying to find a spot to put it at. Now here's one that I haven't really talked about too often. All right, this was first brought to everybody's attention by my man Chad with uh, a gentleman's journey, and I actually bought this. All right, so the prominent notes that it, that that you're gonna get out of this fragrance: honey, jasmine, and vanilla. I'm talking about Hugo Boss, Silk, and Jasmine. Hugo Boss, Silk, and Jasmine. Nice, clean, white shirt. I, I sprayed this on one day and I asked my wife, I said, what do you think about the scent? And she said to me, no lie. She said, I can see you some nice trousers or some nice, nice pants on with a white button up or some type of like formal suit or something like that. That was her opinion. And I'm telling you, she didn't get it wrong with the scent. She hit it right on the nose. This is definitely a white shirt, button-up shirt type of type, type of fragrance. And that was number 13, Hugo Boss Silk and Jasmine. All right. Now, I know this is further down on the list, and people are going to hate it, but this is my list. All right? You can put it where you want to put it. It's in the list. But this is by Tom Ford. All right? And the top notes, of course, Vetiver, Woodsy Notes, and Grapefruit. I'm talking about 
Tom Ford, Great Vetiver, and this is the EDP. Tom Ford, Great Vetiver, EDP. This is a boss set. This is definitely, and this is on everybody's list. You can't go wrong with it with, with this. I mean, suit, boardroom, wedding, you name it. This is definitely a versatile set that you can wear at any occasion. Tom Ford, Great Vetiver, EDP. That was number 12. Coming in at number 11. I've been screaming this for the last couple days. I ain't gonna take too long on it. But you get leather, saffron, wizzy notes, and pepper with this. I'm talking about one of my favorites, and I'm gonna get a backup bottle with this. I'm talking about Saruti. La Essence de, de Saruti. Elegant scent, classy. Something that you definitely gonna um, have confidence wearing when you wear this out you're gonna wear this with a suit or some type of button-up shirt can't go wrong with that Saruti La Essence de Saruti cheap scent too on top of that all right I'm mad that I got the small bottle and I'm hoping that one that one day I can pick up a, um, a backup bottle and maybe the, the hundred mil all right Saruti La Essence de Saruti that's at number 11 all right coming in at number 10 a lot of people don't really care for this fragrance too much, and it's kind of hard to find now. But the top, um, the major notes that you're gonna get out of this: leather, woozy notes, cardamom, and pepper. It's almost like the same notes I just read off with that Saruti note. But this one is by Fendi, and it's Fan de Fendi. All right, this is the original Pour Homme. This is not the. This is not the absolute. This is the the original one, the Pour Homme. Elegant scent, very nice, nice scent. I had a buddy of mine that I work with, a friend of mine. He's like my big brother. He actually bought this after I told him about it. When he wore, when he wore it, he was, he was, he was amazed by it. It's a great scent. He get, he got a lot of compliments wearing it. I haven't even worn this to work. I think I wore it to work one time, um, and I got some enjoyment out of it. Got people asking about the scent. It's a great scent. Most of these scents here is gonna be leather base. They, they got some density to it, but that's what you that's what you figure that a boss says. They they got density to it. Excuse the dog, my neighbor's dog, but he's barking in the backyard. But fan defendi, all right. I don't know. He might not he might not agree with this fragrance, but I love it. All right. So excuse the dog in the background. So that was number ten, fan defendi. All right. At number nine. At number nine. Prominent notes in this one. Violet leaf. Violet, leather, and red berries. I'm talking about Keaton Black. There's not a lot of reviews on this fragrance right here, but when I'm telling you, this is definitely, definitely a formal scent. If you know about Keaton, Keaton is known for their suits. They're very expensive suits, all right? And if you look at this, it's got that black, that black um, outing to it. It's more or less like a um, black tie. Stuff like that. It's reminiscent of that. This has got that leather. It's got, I mean, uh, uh, violent. This is this is good. This is really, really good. And it's not talked about often. Oh my God. This is a, this is a rich scent. This is rich. All right. You haven't got your nose on it. Keaton Black. Not regular. The other Keaton because it has that similarity. But this one has a little bit more leather in it. And the red berries. But it it, it still has that DNA of the original Keaton Man. But this Keaton Black is something serious, all right? Keaton Black, all right? That was at number nine. All right, excuse my, my the head, but next up, all right, this one, prominent notes, ginger, lemon leaf oil, tobacco leaves, amber, and mandarin orange. I love, I like this scent a lot, but I like the extreme even better. I just didn't put, Excuse me, I didn't pull the trigger on the on the extreme because I didn't like the bottle the bottle size that it was coming in. I want a bigger bottle. I really do because I love the extreme. But I wear this one a lot as well. And this is by Tom Four, and this is Tom Four for men. You can't can't go wrong with a Tom Four scent. I mean, it's definitely it, it screams elegance and it screams formal events. All right, I like this one better than the than the Grey Vetiver. That's just my opinion. All right, excuse me for touching the mic, but I like this one better than I like the Grey Vetiver because this one here, it has a little bit more push out there. All right, time for it for men. That's at number eight. 
at number seven. One of my favorite houses. Um, they had, but they had just way too many fragrances for me to keep up with. Especially in this line, they're starting to come out with flanker after flanker after flanker. Prominent notes: cherry, almond, vanilla, leather, and takami. Now, if I, I, I want you to understand now. Most of these fragrances all have like le most of them have leather in it. All right, I'm talking about Guerlain's, Edial, La Homme, Edial, EDP. All right, EDP. This is definitely, definitely, excuse the computer. This is definitely an elegant scent, man. Heavy, so you got to be careful. And, and some of these heavy scents, when it comes to a form, I mean, uh, the, the, this this category. Most of these CEOs, bosses, formal events, um, boardroom meetings, stuff like that, you're always in a controlled environment, so you don't have to really worry about wearing something too heavy. You just gotta be monitor the, the sprays, all right? This is a heavy scent, but this is definitely something that I would wear at, with a suit because I know I'm gonna be in somewhere that's gonna be in uh, control, and the, the, the temperature's gonna be controlled. So, again, cherry, almond, vanilla, can't beat that. A little leather in it as well. EDL, La Homme EDL, EDP, Cherry and Almond, and Vanilla, nice and creamy, all right, that was at number seven, all right, at number six, another one that people don't talk much about, I'm just going to spray it, oh my god, Leather, Violent, I'm sorry, Leather, Lavender, Cardamom, Vanilla, and Tonka Bean. This one is by JPG, and this is La, La Homme, La Essence de Parfum. This is a dope ass scent, all right? This is dope as hell. The bottle is dope. The atomizer spray is hella juice. Nice atomizer. I mean, tch, what can you say? Controlled environment. Control your sprays. You're in the air conditioner. Couple of sprays. You're in your suit. You go into your boardroom or you go into a wedding, you go into any type of formal event. You can't go wrong with this. This is definitely you get you're getting that leather. You're getting that tonka, that that DNA of uh, of Lamar, but very elegant. Alright. This is more refined than the, the original um, um Lamar. This is definitely more smoother, better better for formal wear. Alright. That was number six. Again, excuse my the back of my head. At number five, this is a newbie to a lot of people, and there's a lot of not a lot of reviews out there on it. All right, this is by. I mean, well, I'm gonna give you the notes first, and I tell you, you got sandalwood as a prominent note. You got incense, and you got cinnamon. All right, this is this is definitely some good juice. This is definitely some good juice. God, Valentino Umo Noir Absolute. Look, sandalwood and incense. I'm a sandalwood dude. I love sandalwood. It's nice and smooth and sweet on top of that. And then you got the cinnamon boardroom all day. CEO all day. All right. Enough said. Can't can't say no more. All right. Number and that was number five. At number four. One of my favorite ooze, ooze based scents. And uh, yeah, I'm saying ooze, you know, but again, you're in a controlled environment. At number five, you got vanilla, ambergris, ooze, and leather. I'm talking about one other fra one fragrance and one fragrance only. And that's Costume National Soul. Boardroom all day. Boardroom, CEO, suited up. Suit up. Suit it up. I'm telling you, can't. I'm gonna spray this on this paper. It's number four. Boardroom, man. And you're gonna get compliments on top of that. This is definitely a dope scent. But you're wearing it in the summertime, just be careful with the sprays. That's all I'm saying. Just be careful. Well, any one of these things in the summertime, watch your sprays. Because again, you don't wanna choke anybody out. Alright? But can't go wrong with the scent. Soul National, um, Costume National Soul is one of the best oud based scents out there on the market. You can't go wrong with it. All right, that was number four. Rounded down, top three. At number three, you got myrrh, you got vetiver, and you got bergamot. 
this baby right here, you have to definitely be careful with the sprays, all right? I don't know which a, which one, which batch is this or what year this is, but it's been in my collection for a little while now. And I'm talking about Dior, I'm talking about Christian Dior's Eau Sauvage Parfum. Jesus Christ. When I tell you, this is boss. This is boss. This is boss all day. Couple sprays, couple sprays, all you need. And you want to walk with confidence when you spray this on. This is just being honest. Like, you know this. You know you smell a hella good with this. All right? That was number three. All right? Round it down number two. Round it down the top two. This one here is a newbie to me. Sorry, I got to crunch my thirst. This is definitely one of my top. In the, and I'm going to get a backup bottle of this. I know me and my wife probably going to argue about it. But... I'm getting the back of bottle of this. I'm gonna say this first, this first dominant note, and I'm gonna chop it up. But it's Ambro, Ambro, Sinide, Ambro Sinide, Sandalwood, Balsam Fir, and Liqueur. I'm talking about this one right here, new to my collection. Cartier, this is Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Listen. This fragrance is probably one of the best in 2020 so far. To me, anyway. This is dense. This is class. Um, this is everything you need in an in a, in a elegant scent that you're going to wear throughout your event. No matter what it is, you know you're going to smell good. Two sprays, two to the neck, actually, and one to the chest all day you in your suit you got the air blowing you got the listen people gonna notice you when you're wearing a scent all right you're gonna get compliments wearing this posture de cartier parfum this is dope this is a tester bottle i'm getting the original bottle this is gonna be a backup to that original all right because it's only a cap but i'm getting the original bottle as well all right this is a tester i love the test i love testers but i want i want a backup bottle of this. so the backup bottle will be the original all right posture de cartier parfum my Cartier, again, and this was a tester, all right? That was number two. Last but not least, at number one, this is my favorite cologne, or my favorite fragrance, period. Lavender, geranium, green notes, oak moss, and, yeah, that's it. And oak moss is the, the, the prominent notes. I'm talking about this baby right here, and I'm just gonna give you a quick story, and I know a lot of people already know about it. I dropped a tester bottle with us that was out the box and I literally almost cried and my wife had to say, babe, listen, we get you another bottle. But then when I seen what the prices and what they're going for nowadays, I'm not getting another bottle of that. Not until the prices come down. But I'm talking about this fragrance right here and I'm going to say the name wrong because I can't say that word for nothing. But it's by Hubergant Paris and it's Fougere Royale. Fougere Royale. This is what I call, I want to smell rich fragrance. This is this is what I call it. This is my favorite and definitely the scent that I will say is more or less for formal events, suited up. I'm gonna spray this before I spray anything else if I had to choose out of them. This would be the first one I choose and then probably Pasha. But this one right here, Fuge Royale, they did a wonderful job recreating this from whatever that fragrance was before because I haven't smelt it, I'll be honest. but. This one right here, oh my God. <sighs> Again, if you wanna smell rich, man. If you wanna smell rich, this is what it is, all right? This is definitely what it is. And I think I just, it's been sitting in the box for so long, I think I just ruined the top of it. Or the little cat piece that goes around the top had came off and I just fixed it, so. Fujero out, anyway. Can't go wrong, all right? Nice, elegant, boardroom scent. I'm done. It's about to run up on 20 minutes. This is your boy Sam Broom signing off. Peace. I hope you love this 15. Give, send me yours. Deuces.